Hey RT students, we're still working on patient assessment in our curriculum, but this week I wanted to give you pictures of what you're studying with your patient assessment. And then I'll spin it into another question for the second year students on how to treat. Okay, so here we go. This or that, which is the pneumothorax? So we have two pictures here, and one of them is a pneumothorax. So for you first year students, you're learning patient assessment, and we talk about things that deviate the trachea away from midline. So this is what this actually looks like on a chest x-ray. So let me kind of outline the trachea so you can see it a little bit better. This one, and then this one is right about here. Okay, so we can agree with both of these. They're deviated away from the midline. All right, so the board exam like to ask oftentimes, does it deviate toward the affected area or away from the affected area, okay? So if we look at this first one, if we're just looking at black and white, there's obviously something wrong in this side of the chest. There's not a lot of air. Air is black on the chest film. Things that are more dense are white. So there's a big density in this right side of the chest. So this is atelectasis. And so as those alveoli collapse, that massive collapse pulls the trachea towards. So anything that is inside the lung, the trachea is gonna to shift towards the affected area. Whereas over here, our affected area is this right side also. There's tons of air in there. You see no vascular markings like this would be a normal lung. You see all those vascular markings? There's no vascular markings. And this is indicative of air in the pleural space. So much air, as a matter of fact, that it creates pressure and it pushes that trachea away from midline. Okay, so B is the pneumothorax. Okay. Second year students, here's where I hope you realize this pneumothorax is life threatening. This is a tension pneumothorax. So here's what happens with the tension pneumothorax. The trachea is deviated away from the affected area. But as it's deviated away, it compresses the heart. All that pressure squeezes the heart and the heart can't pump out adequate cardiac output. So blood pressure falls. And when blood pressure falls, the heart tries to compensate for it by kicking up the heart rate, okay? So if you have a deviated trachea um, away from the affected area, a low blood pressure and a high heart rate, you have a tension pneumothorax, it is an emergency situation. So how would you treat it, this or that, okay? You can put a chest tube in, and this is what a chest tube looks like, or you can do needle decompression. Because this is a life-threatening situation, you've got to vent that air in the chest just as rapidly as you possibly can. So if you have a tension pneumothorax, according to NBRC standards, you are gonna treat that with needle decompression. So basically you're pushing a big needle in, the second intercostal space, midclavicular line, and you're just allowing that air to vent the atmosphere so the lung can re-expand. Um, setting up for a chest tube is going to take too long and the patient may go into a life-threatening cardiac arrhythmia as a result. So needle decompression also on the exam. I have seen terms use um, the term needle uh, thoracostomy, just so you know. So hope this has helped. See you soon.